Okay, well, the takeaway is nobody ignores Margaret. That's We can all agree on that. WDSU first warning weather forecast for us. Even with more cloud cover today, we've managed to get temperatures closer to typical highs for the time of the year. That's 73. We're right around 70. We're just under it now in some cases. The Hammond here in New Orleans. Lakefront, Bell Chase, our state's capital at 72. So we've begun a little bit of a warming trend, but we're going to kind of hold steady there because even thicker clouds are going to come, then we got to discuss rain. So there's the main part of the storm system, but what is here will be a developing storm system, and that could be the main batch of rain, but we're not done just yet until this system comes through. So we've got multiple round potential for showers and storms, and this begins as soon as tomorrow afternoon. So the timing of this goes tomorrow morning is okay, but by the afternoon, things are going to start to get a bit wet. So here we go on our forecast of the cloud cover here overnight tonight towards tomorrow, increasing cloud cover, and we're becoming overcast. But we're starting off not as cold. Temperatures only into the 40s for the North Shore to a 48 to Hammond, Slidell at 47, Gulfport at 50, Bell Chase and Homa there in 52 officially here in New Orleans. This means getting yourself out the door, getting the kids to school, we're fine, but bringing them home, have some rain gear handy, 40s and 50s as I just showed. So this I think has been one of the best forecasts to show exactly how this shapes up. The morning hours are okay, but as soon as we get to midday and afternoon, we start to develop rain. Check out the guide here at the top of the screen. Stronger thunderstorms are going to show up as these darker colors and more intense shades. As we go to the afternoon, it does appear the heaviest rain and potential for thunderstorms are along the coast. So this means as we get to a vast majority of us in southeast Louisiana, from Bell Chase, New Orleans to the North Shore, we're just talking rain here. And it's steady rain. It's light rain. I'll show you the totals in just a second. There could be some moderate rain developing by the evening and overnight hours as we go to that particular forecast, but that's just one of many and they're kind of all over the board. So there is a very low level risk of some of those storms maybe becoming severe. Terrebonne Parish, you're really the only one in it. A little bit of Lafouche, so Homa, maybe a strong wind gust potential, but really I see this farther south and really out into the Gulf. How much rain are we looking at? The stronger storms along the coast, we might be looking at maybe an inch if you get a stronger thunderstorm, but this indicates just steady and light rain. Look at that, maybe a few hundredths of an inch to a few tenths of an inch, less than a half an inch really. But temperature is still pretty mild. We're up to about 70 even before the rain begins. However, as the kids come home and there's afternoon activity, this is where I expect it to be wet. So be prepared from the morning to difference in the afternoon. We get into Friday's forecast. Look at this one. There's some potential. We bring in some stronger storms to the North Shore right in here through New Orleans. And that could contain some strong and gusty winds, but another round of storms develops maybe as we get a little sun to bleed through, and these could be some pretty hefty storms. In fact, they're not done until we get to the nighttime hours well after sunset, and with a little sun, we're pretty warm. We're in the mid-70s, but with the air above us, it's so cold that this could be our rare hail potential that we get here. So I made it a weather impact day on Friday because of that hail potential. So be aware of it and we'll be here. Saturday is going to be an interesting forecast. It wants to hold on to some more cloud cover and I'm a little wary here. I've seen this happen before. We hold on to clouds longer and then we get another cloud deck coming into Sunday. So I have added more clouds into the weekend forecast right now, saying it's still okay. It's rain free, but it may not just be as warm as we'd initially thought. So tomorrow, looking for a dry morning, more of a wet afternoon, and then that strong storm potential with a couple rounds and maybe some hail. So a WDSU first warning weather impact day. As I just explained, a dry weekend. We'll watch for another front next week.